It seems the end is almost here. As we find out the full details of Season 10's final crazy event. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the final days of Season 10. With the latest update in Fortnite, we have discovered the craziest leaks yet for this season. And we now finally know what is going to be going down in this crazy, insane final event. We know through various leaks that this is going to be the end event for season 10. Literally, the end is the title. And we also know that we, the players, are going to be responsible in some kind of interactive event. As we do see in the event description, that we will have to join the fight to restore our timeline before it's too late. And we also know we're going to have to activate the beacon at precisely the moment this timer reaches nothing. The zero point must be contained once more. If they are correct, it will be the end. That is some more description that is hidden away in the game's files. It seems like we the players are going to have to interact with this event. And presumably if we get it correct, it will be the end. It seems like the end is really coming to Fortnite. Well, at least for season 10. But of course, what is the end? What does the end mean? And what has this got to do with the rocket launch event? As well as the zero point. Which by the way, is the orb at Loot Lake. Well, Leaker FT Leaks has revealed the main major details of this final event. The event which is taking place on the 28th of September will be one hour long and has seven different events in one. He goes on to list the different events that we are expecting to see in this one final event. From the rocket launch, something to do with the Nexus, which is the Loot Lake Bunker, the volcano disappearing, the meteor hitting the map, mass island destruction cinematic, a new map preview, and game reset starts with you on the spawn island. These details are woven into the game's files and this leaker has managed to unearth them and we can now see in order how this event is going to play out. One hour of a final crazy event. If we are to look at these leaks we're able to work out roughly what is going to happen in this event. The rocket will launch from Dusty Depot presumably targeting the Nexus at Loot Lake in which it will collide presumably Presumably activating time, somehow removing the volcano from our Fortnite map, but more importantly, activating the frozen meteor as it hits the map. The impact of the meteor hitting our Fortnite island is going to bring mass island destruction in an in-game cinematic for everybody to watch, in which we will see our brand new Fortnite map. This is all the seven events that we are expecting to see bundled up in this final event for season 10 and all of this in one hour that's gonna make for one crazy hour of Fortnite. And with the date of the 28th of September being found in the game's files, we know this event is right around the corner, but we don't need leaks to tell us it's right around the corner. Here at Dusty Depot, we are seeing some major changes that are indicating the rocket is about to be launched. We've also heard leaks in the game's files of the actual sounds of the rocket as it prepares to take off. The iconic sound of the warning sirens have been added to these files and players will soon be hearing this sound in game, warning them of the rocket's launch. In fact, there are multiple different types of sounds in the game's files. Presumably one of them is in the build-up to the rocket launch, and the other sounds are for when the rocket actually takes off. If there's anything that convinces you of imminent doom, it's the sound of these sirens. And boy, I'm getting pretty hyped for this event, I'll tell you that much. And of course, this is backed up by some recent leaks that we've just had. In the game's files right now, the final loading screen for this season has been leaked, and it's titled Last Stop 
Thank You Bus Driver, where we see a handful of our Fortnite characters waving goodbye to the battle bus as it sails off into the distance. The name Last Stop brings players to believe we might be living through right now our last stop on this Fortnite island. The characters are waving goodbye to the battle bus as this is the last time they're going to be playing on the map. Guys, what is going on here in this crazy final event for Season 10? Is this really the end of our Fortnite map the way we know it? And are we really going to see one hour of seven different events in this final showdown? I want to hear what you guys have to say about all of this craziness in the comments section below. Alright guys, we're going to jump into game as always. Do remember if you want to support this channel, make sure you use the support to creator code that is on screen right now. Alright guys, let's do it. Did you see that? I just headshot the guy and the other guy fell down and died. Oh my god. I'm a hero. Dude, look, it really is interactable. Look at this. What is going on, guys? Welcome back uh, to Fortnite. This is pretty crazy. This is everything that's going on in Fortnite right now. Dude, we've had so many crazy leaks. I can't even comprehend. There's too much to talk about for one video, that's for sure. Guys, the end of Season 10 is coming. Literally, the end. It's called The End. Who would have known, right? And we now know how this event is going to go down, how this rocket is going to launch, how it's going to go into the orb at Loot Lake, and then, like, the volcano is going to disappear or something, something stupid crazy like that. We now know we're going to be getting a new map for Season 11. It is official. Beforehand, we were pretty sure, but now it's official. And I'm officially hyped. Mind you, it has taken long enough for this all to happen. Honestly, honestly, we were two days away from the event. Literally two days. Usually we have weeks and weeks of build up to the final event. This time we have two days. Yo, it's good, homie. Oh, yo, it's good, homie. Yo, it's good. Yeah, two days really isn't that much time to be able to cover this entire event. So I think most of it is going to have to go by pretty quickly, but I'm still pretty excited all the same. There is a bunch of small details that we hadn't covered in the video so far that I think I want to talk about more in the next couple of days. Stuff like, have you noticed the brutes aren't actually spawning on the island anymore? Have you noticed that? The brutes are actually exploding when they hit the ground, and it might have something to do with that interactive HUD down here. You know, with pictures of the brutes on. You know the one? The one I just showed you? Let me show you again. Hold on. This? This, this stuff here, the, 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 the brutes seem to be exploding when they hit the ground and there's like a big explosion here. And it looks like the brutes are corrupted or, or something. Maybe pieces of the brutes are corrupt. So, uh, I don't know what's going on there. It's a bit of a mess. Sorry, brutes. Not sorry, though. I mean, it would kind of make sense if the brutes played their part in this season. That's why Epic's been trying to keep them in for so long, right? Maybe the brutes are corrupted and the visitors somehow harness the power of the brutes, put it in the rocket, and now the rocket is corrupt and it's gonna bring a, an age of darkness or, or something. I don't really know. All I know is this grappler's ridiculous. Look at this. What is this video game? And it's probably worth having a conversation about who is the visitor trying to contact. There is a whole bunch of text in the game's files with, like, people having a conversation about the rift and about good guys and bad guys. Gosh, it's so complicated, dude. I don't even know where to start. And by the way, for the record, I did say there was some kind of technological corruption going on this season. I said that. Nobody believed me. They're like, whatever, dude. But I was right. I was right, Rocky. I was right. Oh, and of course the TVs, right? The TVs. You didn't know? You didn't know about the TVs? Is that Batman? There's a countdown that's going to be on the TVs and I'm guessing it's going to be exactly like it was in season three, right? With the rocket event. You know, with the little red icon that comes on all the TVs. It's in the game's files. It's definitely happening. Batman, where did you go? It's pretty exciting times in Fortnite. It's a shame it's literally only two days for the event until it happens. So although it's cool that it's coming, I guess next time, please try not to mess it up epic if that's okay please oh speaking of the end it was the end for that guy oh dude you have never seen 90s like that before boys Dude, come, no. Your demise in the future event will be welcome, you scumbag. Here I am just trying to have fun, trying to do a video. Damn. 